Why, hello there, everybody, and welcome to Caster's Trap, a nice little indie game, supernatural horror thriller type of game brought to you by the Odie on Game Jolt. I think I already said that, but let's say it again. For some reason, Fraps isn't letting me record this, so that was loud, sorry. So today, we are trying OBS, Open Broadcast Software, to record, so please do excuse if any mistakes are made. Hope you guys don't mind too much. But anyways, this little game is, like I said, Horror Supernatural, that type of dealie, made in RPG Maker VX Ace. I know there's a lot of RPG Maker games out there, but this one looks like it's got the chops. After an invite and the okay from the developer, we're gonna go ahead and give this a shot. It's looking good, I'm pretty excited. Hope you guys are too. I'd tell you the story, but I read it, I forgot it, and after everything with fraps, my brain's a little fried, so we're just gonna go ahead and get right into it. New game. Change the resolution of your game, press F6. Good to know, already done. And I'm sorry my mouse is like blinking. Let's get that out of the way. Okay, go. Capto Era CE 127. There's a rumor about the house above the hill. Anyone who enters does not leave. Piqued by your curiosity, you move to its front steps and walk inside. Along with you, our flashlight and a newspaper article. Article. <laughs> I can't be very brooding if I'm freaking stuttering. Other than that, thank you for taking the time to play this game and enjoy your explorations. Thanks, man. Thanks. All right, so here we are. I don't know what my name is just yet. For now, my name will be Steve. Now that's boring. For now, until I know what my actual name is, I will be Johan. So what do we got going on over here? Anything we can click? It's been a while since I've used RPG Maker, so please do excuse if I kind of stumble a little bit here in the beginning. Anything we're looking at? Let's see. I don't have anything to light this. Well, that's a problem. What are we going to do to rectify that situation? A dusty old crate that looks to have been taken by the age is covered in spiderwebs. Uh-oh, -uh, I don't like spiderwebs. Um, okay, what else we got going on? Oop. It's locked. Son of a bee. Anything I can look at here? How do you get to your inventory? Now that's gonna be the question. Nope. Okay, yeah. Oh, there we go. I don't know what I did, but I did something. Let's go ahead and use our flashlight. There we go. Ooh, check that out. That's kind of cool. I like that. All right, so, hmm. In front of you looks like an empty small box. With the flash of your light, you notice a small brass key sitting behind some shi er, beside some shiny rocks. Sweet. Take it. Why wouldn't I? Small brass key obtained! Yeah! Also, sorry if I sound a little quiet, guys. It's been... Whew, it's been a day. It has been a day. And that is the only word to describe it. Alright, well, it looks like there's only one way to go. In! Out of your pocket, you use the small brass key. Onward! I said onward! Are we... Did I... Did I do anything? Let me in! Please, somebody let me in! Anybody! I am the one who knocks! Or in this case, uses the key, so let me in. No? Okay. Does this flashlight run out, by the way? Would kind of suck if it did, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it would be wonderful game design, but it still would suck. Hmm. Busted old dusty barrel with nothing important inside. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's what, I, that's what we just saw. Can I go back out? Nope. You're stuck, son. Still don't have anything to light this. Nothing here. Oh, there we go! A matchbox beneath an un- Yeah, yeah, let's do it! Very carefully, you avoid the nest and grab the box of matches because there were spiders! Ugh, ugh, ugh. Hate spiders. You check its contents, only to find one match. Better make it count! Hopefully this is like a- the freaking Whatchamacallit. You know, the candle that burned for seven days and seven nights and all that good stuff. Religion. I know it. Hey, check this out. Now I can uh, go ahead and turn this off. Sorry, that was my cat, and that scared me. Whew. There we go, all right. Blow out? No. Why would I do that? Okay, so I see cracks all over the wall. I still see a door that, for some reason, I unlocked, but I can't get into. Interesting. Nope, oh, nope. Hmm. So where to next, then? This is a puzzle game, so... Understandably, 
I may not succeed quickly. Search for the table, find a small, a strange crystal. Say what? What do I do with said small crystal? Hmm. Only one thing to do. I mean, I was already talking about freaking uh, Heisenberg. <laughs> oh yeah, I got the crystal, buddy. Hmm. Items. Collect ten for a secret post ending. What? That's pretty cool. Oh yeah, I should probably read. Boy missing. Around 7 p.m. yesterday, 17 years old Jake Schaffner was reported missing by his mother. Last night, tweet A, my son was in his room, and this morning he was gone, says mom. <laughs> That's probably not the best voice for mom. <laughs> Due to the reported missings law, no missings person re missings report can be issued until 24 hours. Alright, is that me? That could be a problem. Okay, well, I think we've pretty thoroughly searched everything, haven't we? No, I don't want to blow out the curtain. Why would I want to do that? Why would I want to do that? I don't. I don't. Hmm. Okay, so... Next choice would be to follow this, maybe? No? Yeah. Hmm. Just really interested. Like, I'm... I'm guessing I was supposed to go here, right? Is there, like, a button I can hit to enter or something? It's not doing much for me. It's not doing much. Let's see. Nope. Okay, well, I guess I'll blow out the candle. And now I don't have anything to light this ever. Shit! Maybe that's where the frickin' light matchbox was supposed to go. Crap! Son of a bitch! Hmm. Well, this could be a problem. So... Am I just stuck now? I gotta tell you, right away, this game throws you in without a freaking uh, hint. I kinda like it, I'm not gonna lie. Problem is, I'm terrible at this. I just can't figure out why I can't get the key. Or why I can't get inside this door. There. Because I was looking up and not to the left. Son of a bitch. <laughs> well, here we are, everybody. <laughs> we made it. Let's go ahead and turn that flash. Oop, nope, not do that. Let's go ahead and use that flashlight. Oh, games that use flashlights. How I love thee. Alright, so anyways. Uh, what do we got here? You can see webs and spiders. God, what are they everywhere? Oh, spiders. Cryo dust, webs, and a spider. A spider's red hourglass-like symbol on the abdomen stands out to me because it's murderous and it will bite me and my arm will fall off. It silently rests above its web with a nest of eggs nearby. Directly beneath the nest is a paper with etchings of strange symbols. Reach in for the paper? Yes, I'm gonna get bit. Reach your best! You swiftly jab your fingers through the desk of spiders and grab the paper. Web and spider eggs stick to your hand as you pull from the crayon. Oh god, no, 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 nope, 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 nope. Yeah, you got the right idea. Whipping your head in the air a few times, you realize no amount of inertia can send the residue off. Avoiding the chance of leaving spider eggs on your pants, you wipe your hand against the outer wall of the crate. Although you received a few splinters, you managed to remove most of it. Whew. Oh, just splinters. You then shine your light into the crate to note that the spider with the hourglass symbol is now crawling at the- I thought you were going to say is now missing. <laughs> oh, is now at the bottom. You received a strange paper. Let's read. <clears throat> strange paper. Uh, what the hell? Auditor strange etchings, etchings and symbols. Okay, so I can't read it. Good to know. Let's get out of here. And you know what? Let's go ahead and save. Did I save? I did, in fact, save. Okay. Okay, okay. Hmm. A few sheets of paper lie here. They have scribbles on them that you cannot understand due to their age. They are useless to read. Well, jeez. Next time you write a book, I'm telling you your papers are useless to read, you jerk. Not the creator, just, you know, my character. Nothing but soot and ashes. You're nothing but soot and ashes. Just a dusty old barrel that's broken. Reach it and check anyways. Yeah, why not? You rummage your hand through the inner wall of the barrel as dust begins to build. <clears throat> Shit! Suddenly, a sharp pain stabs you in your middle finger. You swiftly pull your hand out and see blood bubbling from the tip. Oh, shit. Without hesitation, you cover your finger with the waistline of your shirt and begin applying pressure. As you look back into the barrel, you realize the source of your injury is from pencil-thick fragment of broken barrel hoop weighed in between two bo- Ow! Yeah, why not? <laughs> Using your knee as a fulcrum, you pull the two boards and snaring the fragment to loosen it. You have obtained it! 
So wait. Some pain, all the gain. Oh yeah. All right, ooh, let's go back in here. Also, can I say this music is effing beautiful? My God, I love it. I'm beating old grandmother's clock. He reads 2 a.m. The pendulum does not move, nor does it click. Nothing seems more dead yet alive than this. Huh. All right then. What we got here? An old book deeply worn out. You lift a page to find it as stiff as cardboard. You notice every page contains a list as if by ingredients. The page that was currently opened is titled, Bottle Bang, My Favorite Position. Read it? Yeah, yeah. Although hard to read, you attempt to read the description. A bang carried by hand, much like a caster's might. A combination of sodium hydroxide and aluminum metal in life's elixir releases gas. I can imagine that will make you a little gassy sometimes, not gonna lie. Contained gas can volumize and build pressure. Ingredients. Plastic bottle. Life's elixir. Sodium hydroxide. Aluminum. Step. Combined. Life's elixir and sodium hydroxide. Add aluminum and sealed bottle. Mix and be wary of a bang. Alright, I'll remember that. Okay, so we're not gonna try that. What's this? A dirty old empty sack, not really worth taking. Alright, well, good to know. Although you open the closet and immediately spot a plastic bottle, it stands out in comparison to the other sil silvery. So did, did I take it? No. Okay, so... Stove still with some gas left. Good to know. You twist the handle to find a small stream running out of the nozzle. Nothing more will be gained from... You use the little amount to rinse your hands. Oh, that's nice. At least my hands are clean. That's all that matters. So can I actually grab anything from there? No? Okay, well, let's... There's nothing in the broken floorboards. Oh, good to know. Touching all the bases. Alright, so next up, I guess we'll just go up. What could possibly go wrong? Ooh, a door. Oh, Jesus. I don't know why that scared me so much. <gasps> a variety of textbooks from philosophy to science. Nothing extraordinary stands out. Uh, same thing. Yeah, philosophy isn't that interesting, so yeah, let's be honest with you. You smell a deep, bitter, sour smell as you approach closer. It is spoiled bread and flour. Nasty. That's just nasty. As you shine your light closer to the bread, you note the bluish green spots spread across the wheat products mildew. Sorry if my narrator's voice kind of tends to change, by the way. Ooh, doing the lower voice? Hurting the vocals. <clears throat> mildew. <clears throat> Excuse me. Broken bottles, flasks, plates, and boxes are covered in dust. The only worthwhile object amongst this collection is a glass vial labeled NAOH. NAO. Can I take it? No? Can I take anything? Ooh, clothing! Faded green shirt is fashionably displayed in front of you. After a closer look, you see holes. Aw, oh, man, I was gonna sell that too. A deep blue cave from what would look like centuries ago. It is in perfect shape, as if by magic. Hmm, seeping out of the cracks of the basin is dry sea salt. You notice a mixture of dirt and dust accompanying it. And here? Angling, angling, angling your light to shine in the crate, you see nothing but webs and spiders. Girl, everywhere. Can I look in? No, I can't look at that one. Hmm, so I've looked just about, so I gotta, I gotta make something. Back here we go. Hmm, so where can we possibly, oh, the door is locked. From the gleam of your light, you realize the door has a skeleton lock. You kneel on one knee, pull up your light, and look through the hole. Something is wedged in the hole from the other side. Do I have anything that could rectify that? Like a hoop fragment? You remove the hoop fragment from your pocket and align with the key of the door. With barely any force, you manage to push the wedged item. Night. Oh no, you lay flat on the ground and allow your light to creep through beneath the door. It was a skeleton key. You attempt to reach through, but was stopped from the knuckles. Crap, I was supposed to put on something underneath there, wasn't I? Shit. Um. Okay, so hopefully that's not a problem. Hmm. There's a small bottle sized hole not far from the doorknob. What will you do? Look in the hole. Yeah. Lead over and attempt to peek inside. Nothing but pitch darkness. You attempt your light, but it, its shine does not reach the far end of the wall. However, you manage to see bright colored walls along the sides. Oh! Suddenly, you receive an odor. Uh-oh. 
It is a mixture of bitter and sour. Sulfur, like rotten eggs, also comes to mind, and weeks old raw beef. Oh, we got demons! It is a rotting sensation that twists your stomach ever slightly. Well, okay. So... Ah, shit, sorry. There we go, try this again. What will you do? Put your hand through. <laughs> because, you know what? That hasn't ended bad for us so far. You'd have to place your hand through the hole of the door. Your hand stops the knuckle. Okay, whew, nothing bad happened then. By the way, I, I'm still really hating myself for wasting that match, I'm not gonna lie. And that's, is that a jack o' lantern? That is, in fact, a jack o' lantern. Alright, well, can't talk to him, that's good. Don't have anything to light this. You see webs of spiders in the floorboards uh, over here? Nope, just don't have anything to light it. Hmm. Okay, so what could I possibly. Okay, so I gotta. I gotta figure out something with this guy. Can't turn it on or anything. Hmm. Hmm. Curious. And curious. Alright, well. I think the next option is gonna be to go right up this way. Let's see, let's see. Right over here? Door's locked. All the doors are locked. So what could I possibly do to get this? Did I screw myself over here? Feel like I might have. Not gonna lie. 